Well, Boston right now is getting a lot busier. Runners arriving for the Boston Marathon. There's just a buzz in yes, the city right is. now. WVZ's Chris Tanaka joins us live in studio. And Chris, always one of the best weekends of the year. Oh, man, they're getting pumped up, Lisa. Yeah, Heinz Convention Center, the place to be for runners from around the world today. Packed into the Marathon Expo to pick up their bibs, maybe listen to some speakers, and certainly take a lot of pictures. Now, we spoke to several people who will be running Boston for the first time. Just about everyone's feeling the same way. I'm super inspired. I'm ready to go, man. I mean, you, how can you not be surrounded by this community and what, what it represents? I'm excited. I'm excited to run fast. I just had a baby 10 months ago, so it's like a comeback. I feel great. This is a great place, the best marathon in the world. I'm just excited to be a part of a charity and get the full experience to party while you run. Excited. Excited and uh, ready to kill the hills. Very, very excited. Very cool. The expo is open until 6 tonight. It'll be open both tomorrow and Sunday from 9 to 6. And today we also got our first look at the elite field competing on Monday. Among them, Elliot Kipchoge, the fastest marathoner on record. He's making his Boston debut, believe it or not. 2018 champion American Des Linden will be out there as well. She says winning took a big weight off her shoulders. And while she now approaches the race differently, she thinks this year will be special. You can just feel the energy. You feel like there's something magical about to happen. The last time that I kind of had this vibe in this experience was 2011, and it was just epic. And I just I get the vibe that something epic is going to happen on Monday. She broke through in 2018, but in 2011, Lyndon came in second place, just two seconds behind the winner. You can bet Monday's crowd in Boston is going to be cheering her on, and really everyone, Lisa. She is an honorary Bostonian and such a fierce champion. Chris, thank you.